Hey everybody. Now, I live in the UK. I'm currently just about to finish my GCSEs. For those of you that live outside of the UK, it's basically a qualification I will get when I leave school. I've spent the last couple of weeks memorizing pointless dates, pointless facts, I'm never gonna use again in my life. Now, I just want this video to say there's a much better way we could change some of the aspects of our education system to suit children and to benefit them more in later life. It all starts off in primary school, kindergarten, whatever you wanna call it. Grown-ups will say, what would you like to do when you grow up? They'll say, I wanna be a doctor, I wanna be a lawyer. If you translate that, question into adult terms it says who would you like to work for when you become an adult even at that early age you're already installing in the child's mind they're going to work for somebody else take the safe option go work for somebody else collect your money in a safe way those children they're already going to have the mindset that they're going to be studying for the next 10 15 maybe even 20 years to go and work somebody else to build someone else's dream now I tell you, there's people home, revising, right now, pointless stuff they don't want to learn about. I don't know why we can call it education, just so they can pass those exams. Because they've been told by society, you pass something you don't want to study, that's going to qualify you for a job. Most of these students don't even enjoy what they're studying, but they're doing it anyway. I heard about a guy once, he had all the qualifications, he had a great degree, he had all these things, and it made him really qualified for the job he was doing. Turns out he had rubbish people skills. He couldn't get along with anybody. He couldn't manage anyone, and the employer said it was a mistake to hire him. They were misled by the amount of qualifications he had and didn't actually see through to his personality. Now, people are being told you must study these pointless subjects in order to get a good job. Do you think that somebody couldn't become an investment banker because they failed GCC drama? There's a girl that wants to act. She wants to do theater at college, but she can't do that because she didn't get a good grade in maths. Imagine. There's a kid probably sitting at home right now, trying to revise, but he can't do that because these subjects, they're too silly for him to understand. And he goes in, sits every exam, knowing he's not going to do very well. When he opens up his uh, results, society, they're going to tell him you're a failure. Students, they put in so much effort and hard work just to find a decent job. What happens when they find that decent job? They're never happy. Money can't make them happy. That job is working them long hours. By the time they're ready to retire, that's it. The best part of their life is over. Everybody gets told to leave school and get that job. And then people complain unemployment is on the rise. If everybody is being told to get a job, who are the people creating the jobs? The only people who had the real power are the ones which didn't follow the rules. They didn't follow what society told them to do. They don't have a job and they hire other people to help build their empire. Our education system, if it was bad, I wouldn't live in this great and successful country that I do, and I'm very proud of that. I say to the education system, there needs to be less useless rubbish, which no one will need in their lives. Imagine thousands of kids were sitting a history exam. Maybe a handful of those people will become historians, a handful of people will actually need those dates. I'm just saying we need to be careful about crushing children's perceptions of the future. We need to give them the opportunities to be successful. How many times have you heard people say, oh, you never make it as an actor, only the really successful people make it as an actor. Believe in them, believe in them, and as children, they'll learn to believe in themselves. I'm just saying we need to think about what the education system is teaching our children and how we could possibly change it in the future. There's a saying that goes, if you don't start building your own dream, Somebody else will hire you to help build theirs.